Good morning and welcome to Club Sunbury. Finals day here for the under 18 state championship and we have a crack. This is Jacob Brighton from the Moama Bowling Club. Trying to draw down to the jack here. Great shot from him. Cassidy changing hands. Trying to get down, but just a bit quick and stuck a bit wide. Comes here from Club Sunbury this morning. Fantastic facility here for those who haven't been here. BV Partners for under 18 bowls. Very good supporters of Junior Bowls as well. Part of the Junior BPL this year. They run the Diamond Jack competitions in conjunction with Moama Bowls Club as well. This will be Kobe Cromie. Left-hander. He's in a few finals today. First of a couple for him. And Josh Zinski is a home player. He's from uh, Club Sunbury. And afforded some good, op good opportunities since his move here a few years ago. Plays in the top side here. A few other games happening at the moment also. Two girls singles semi-finals and a couple of under 13s semi-final singles too. Good to see the youngsters going at it on the far end of the green here. Josh. What a shot. Great ball from him. Who was the number one? Kobe with some work to do in response to that now. Doesn't want to change too much from his first. It's just under 
He's interested in this here. Kobe Crow, mate. Oh, what a reply. Rips it straight off the hold shot for them. Great start to this triples final. Fifteen ends in total for this one today, two ball triples. Let's see what Josh Lezinski's got in reply. Not having the journey on that one. That'll be one to Kobe Chromie and his rink. Get them off the mark. Morning, Jeff. Hope you're well on this drizzly Sunday morning in Melbourne. This will be Kane Wilson from the Baron Bowls Club. Up on the border, supporters of Bowls in Victoria as well. The over 60 state carnival coming from there in about a month and a half time. Entries are going gangbusters, so looking forward to that kicking off up there. Morning, Rowdy. Good kid to boot is Kane. Leads off pretty well here. Great stuff from him. From Bendigo Ace, this is Luke Nemeth. Sorry, Sam Nemeth. Not Luke, it's his brother. Morning, Josh. Hope you're well, mate. You around here? Great lead bowling from Kane. Doesn't get much better than that. Thankfully for you all, you can get another voice in commentary now. Sam's done the coffee run and he's in and joining me. Morning, pal. You're welcome. Good morning. Okay, Wilson started good again. He was in good form yesterday afternoon as well. Hot start. It's sort of one of them greens. He's undercover at Sunbury. If you can dial in on it, you just sort of replicate. Oh, a shot from Jacob Brighton, though. I'll tell you what, he's had it. He had a great bowl last end as well. So it should be a good tussle. I spoke about this at the recent Vic Open with the streaming. We're doing triples there. If your front end are on, especially your lead, you can dictate a game of triples quite easily. 15 ends is enough ends, but it's not a too significant that you can't really let them get four or five ends in a row. It's behind from Jack Cassidy, but good homes for him. Splits them bowls. I'm going to call him his name wrong again for the 27th time already. Sam Nemeth's bowls up at the back. This is where the Jack's going. I've already called him Luke once. Be a high count of how many times I do that. I called Kobe about Tyson four times yesterday, so it's all good. <laughs> Good balls from Jacob. So still Kane holding. One, you imagine that Josh will be looking to sort of come through the front of Kane. So for Kobe now in the red, it's all about where he positions this. Locks on the forehand, beat the last ball. It's so wide, this stream rink. In fact, the whole green is, I haven't seen this play this wide ever, I don't think, especially rink six. Miss your line underneath, you get punished. It's a cool morning here at Sunbury. Morning, Barb. Morning, Pat. These kids sure can bowl. 
I, I reckon all six of them are far better players than me and Sam already. We've got a long way to go as well. Oh, maybe not you, Sam. You can actually bowl. Not sure if you mentioned already got the under 13 singles after the semis. Thanks over. Who have we got playing in that then? So we've got Flynn Cassidy and. That's taking on Tyler Hilliard from Daniloquin, RSL, and Jack Duck from Whittlesey taking on Bailey Bradley. <laughs> Far rink and. Yeah, it's awesome. Jack Duck draws a touch with his opening bowl at the end. And two girls, singles, semi finals as well. Keep you updated with the scores. I'm surprised Josh hasn't gone slightly more aggressive with this. Very defensive weight, but only needs to get a touch on it. Yeah, he's, he's, if he had a touch to Jacobs, then he'd have been very good. So maybe you could see that shot a lot clearer than the, the drive. Cobes sticking with the forehand here. It looks to be better weight. Just needs to get the inside of this bowl. Yeah, good attempt. They still hold one. Josh, it didn't, didn't really improve an angle, hasn't made it any easier with his last one. There might be a bit more of a pawn on the backhand now, maybe a few more angles to work with. Tough shot either way. It, to be fair, whichever hand he played, it was a tough shot. But I'll tell you what, he's in the area here. It's really so a shot. Oh, one foot more away, yeah. and he'd been golden there. Great effort from Josh Lezinski. That'll be a couple of singles to kick us off here. 2 0 through two ends. You haven't watched under 18s play before, especially against one another. One thing you'll notice is how quick the game moves. We're on. Played two ends thus far, and in about half an hour, we'll be about after eight ends or Every something. Every day of play since Tuesday, we've absolutely flown through. No messing about on the mat. As you mentioned as well, Jim, girls single semi finals here this morning. May Reese taking on. Hayley Hancock, and then the other semi-final, Spina Kosh up against Akasha Fortune. Uh, locals who are still left. Yeah, a couple of Sunbury players on the green, hey? again from Kane, leading very well thus far. Yeah, better from some. First one was about eight feet through. Just corrected that. Let's see what Jack Cassidy's got. Saw a bit of him this season on the live stream. Made in for Mooney Valley. And he draws a shot there, Sam. Of 
Jack's brother's one of the kids playing in the under 13 singles over there. So his dad and mom positioned on the side of this rink, but can see both. He's got a coach down there as young Finn, though. Joshy Rennox. Jacob back on the forehead, looking at turn his own in. Yeah, he's been pretty good early as well. He's had some pretty effective bowls. Just overplayed it. It's close to shot at least first. The second obviously just drifting through there, but pretty consistent start from him. Kobe takes the long strut back to the mat. That's what we're calling it, strut. Look at that. He's in no rush. Big day ahead in the pairs final as well and singles later on. He reckons he's got a gig on commentary as well in the mixed pairs final. He <laughs> talks himself into that one. Sounds good to me. He can bowl better than the pair of us. I'm sure he can commentate better as well. Hasn't got the weight. Don't know if it makes it any easier for Josh. He's probably going to forget that's there and draw either side. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately for Josh, it probably stops the shot he was trying to play, which was drawing clean but if he happens to tip Jacob down a couple of rolls and that's all good but he's probably blocked that tip the shot down but I think you're right he's just got to pretend that ball's not there try and draw a nice ball in out grab the shot they've all got pretty solid techniques as well aren't they all six of them well, he's put it out wide enough I reckon here mate that's where you've got to be just didn't have the weight for it. You can see it got all the way back just about to the centre. Morning, Swanee. Hope you're well, pal. Tune in to support young Jacob, no doubt. At your old club. Up. Yeah. He's the sort of player that you don't want to give him two bolts of the cherry. And he draws the absolute, and I reckon he changes the jack enough to for it to only be one or one in one out sort of thing. A paddler, Bobby Carson confirms that. Quite rightly, Josh will come and have a chat with his second Jacob and work out what he wants to do. He can still draw it either hand. He can change over and follow Kobe down. There is room for the shot to be drawn or... Adds, what, three foot on his last? It's turning up to get around those balls on the left-hand side. I guess the risk for him brings another in, and if he gets rid of Jacobs, if he goes too quick. Again, he's not left with a... He's left with pretty low percentage shots to play, hey? It's setting the heads up pretty well, uh, Kane, Jack and Kobe. He's going to change over and follow the last bowl down. Can work off Jack Cassidy's wing bowl. Oh, Josh Lazinski. What a shot. What a reply. Spoke about how hard that shot was, and he's played it like it was the easiest shot in the world. Great stuff from Josh Lazinski there. Gets them on the board now. Two, one, through three. Very tight opening. Extremely close heads already. Wonder bowls like that having to be played to score. Sam. 
No uh, real noticeable change of length. Probably brought the man up another metre or two, but so playing a bit shorter, but nothing too serious. Yeah, good lady from Sammy there. from Kane just needs to run the last bit. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> Must be someone on that chalk on the, <laughs> the grey that walked forward, that one. Let's see if this can get to the same track or not. Whether it's still there. Must have just missed it. I reckon that had something to do with the chalk on the green, you know. Because it, it, it just came in at that perfect speed where it was st almost Slowly stopped, but then yeah, yeah. It got the weird wobble forward. There's no seam there, so. Look at this one, hook back in from Jack Cassidy. Played. What a head this is so far. It's, it's a high quality game of bowls. Jacob missing, but it's a good miss that gives him an out at the back now. Jack's last one isn't far from counting. Still wants to try and turn in a couple rolls, try and get it past the Jack or sit. Jacob's it's the right hand side, it's underneath the line. Runs away, doesn't really give Josh Lott to play out again. Set it up well. Holding a couple. And what do you want in the under 13 kids? Run down the green after his own bowl, but he's looking at the head next door, watching a bowl come in there as well. <laughs> Well, we might have to have a chat with these kids to get them out of the way, Sammy. Josh Lezinski. Oh, it's stiff. What a shot. signals are the same. <laughs> oh, is there a live stream on? <laughs> Trying to, we'll catch him on the way past. What's Kobe got on here? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. I don't want to go near it. They've got Kane's other bowl. It's sort of in a good catching position. It's drawn up to it. Oh, wow. Oh, you just had a second, didn't you? Oh, wow. Oh, man, it fell out. Just the one. Yeah, Josh can sort of play. I can't work out if that's made it easier or harder for Josh. You know, it lines up if he plays more aggressive to pop Jacobs out the head, but they've still got Sam's just in behind, so I, I think he's Yeah. You know, if he if he overplays it and springs the jack right out, you just give Kobe a free draw if the jack gets all the way through. For one. So he's got to play the right weight for the Jack just to sort of get all the way through to Jacobs back on but the Jacks tend to move a fair far. bit on this yeah. sort of surface so it, well, that back bowl of Jacobs if you can somehow just get it to there that'll be great I think that's that's the likelihood of where that Jack's going because you're literally just going to have to slightly crack the egg on it if it's going to go any less I think he's wide out the hand here might get it back door though <laughs> Still just the one down. Not 
take the one to lead. It's three one, three four. Only playing in singles so far. Pretty safe move there. There wasn't a whole lot no. to off it. Down a second. Nah. I'm absolutely blown away with the high quality start to this game. No one is missing. Kane Wilson opting for a slightly longer length here. Jack's probably a couple of metres back from what Sam had it. And he's probably pushed the Jack another couple of metres as well. Just wants this to hurry at the end. Another fair start from Kane. Um, under, oh, nearly gets a piece of the jack as well. I was always slightly quick, but headbutting the jack would have been great. Good correction from Kane Wilson. Just misses his own, well played. Both the leads opting, opting for this clubhouse side of the rink. You can see how far they're turning though. Yeah, I think both sides are just as equally wide. If not, this side close to we are, can be a fraction wider. Scores on the girls, semis, Josh, I reckon. Akasha leads 16-2. Hayley and Mayer, I can't quite see the scoreboard, but give me a sec and I'll roll it and I'll... Give Josh Cartwright sat out in the corner. You thought he'd go and get some scores for us and bring him... Is that where he's bring down there? <laughs> Mate. Any chance? He's the laziest of the Cartwrights. Oh, it? by a mile. I've always preferred his younger brother. That's always. why we got him on commentary yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jacob, a chance to turn his own through. Yeah, thanks, Jezza. That's, I mean, Hats off to Sammy more than anyone else here. He's been running the show, the under-18s this week. But yeah, having a, a club lock, club summary, who we can partner to bring the event with enables us to, to do this live streaming as well. So big thank you to them. And obviously, Dandenong on Club and Moama are at streaming partners throughout the year for all the streaming we do. So it's not a, not a cheap exercise, but it's definitely an investment in the sport. So... Yeah, having the partners enable us to bring you events like this. And yeah, it's been good fun getting the under-18s. And they've been pretty flexible as well. I've changed up what we usually do with their schedule through the week. We've pushed all the finals to today. So we can try and stream as many as possible. Sam just has a walk down to tell the kids off to keep them out of the way of the cameras. A few of them walking in front. So they'll look a bit sheepish for an end or two, it's because Sam's giving them a telling off. Jack Cassidy holding shot. Kobe just not having the journey on that one. Scary 
Yeah, dude. Older person voice on. Get out of way. Felt like a bad person. <laughs> Josh Lazinski, any piece of Jacobs across the jacks. Oh, oh, looks oh, wow. Piece of it. What Steve. an effort. What an effort from Josh. Nearly played that perfectly. Would have made three out of that as well. But it got back to that shot bowl of Jack Cassidy's and ripped it out of the head. Kobe trying to go the long way around to draw the shot here. Good effort. Good home as well. I tell you what I've noticed in the what 35 minutes I've been here today, Sam, and probably the, the one day, but I watched no bowls the other day. The difference this year, and it's obviously at the pointy end of a competition hour at finals time, there's a lot less driving from the kids than I saw in the past few years, the under 18. So maybe they're sort of watching a lot of bowls on TV. I know they do. And they're sort of seeing that some of these big players don't drive every bowl. A bit more experience on this work, on this rink as well. A lot of bowls watched, I'd imagine. Yeah, a lot of bowls played. Just going to start bending early, is Josh here. Oh, he's going to bring Jack in for a second, unfortunately for him. So that'll be two to Kobe and his crew. 5-1. They lead through the first third. Yeah, right idea, just tried to search up and get the ball out or jack all the way through. It was always he's, he's slightly narrow. Up. Yeah, I used to, look, Josh was exceptionally stiff with his first bowl. Nearly played it perfect to get the little edge back across to take Jack Cassidy's bowl out the head, but just went underneath. Our first multiple of the game. Of course, mixed pairs final on later this morning. Should be a good contest. Bailey Randall teaming up with Chloe Sugar from Fitzroy, Victoria, taking on Nick Rowley, who's been in sensational form this week. Teaming up with Addy Ryan. The under 13 singles will play their final alongside that one. Couple of feet on out. So we got up next, mixed pairs finals. So we said, yep. yep. Into the girls singles final, into the boys singles final. What a day. What a day. Jack Cassidy makes no mistake here. He's drawn the shot. A couple of foot of room. Yeah, good shout, Jezza. A lot of these playing topside bowls and playing with some very experienced players. You talk about Jacob Brighton here. He's playing with the likes of Kevy Anderson, Alex Marshall, Cass Millerick, Jack Cassidy playing Mooney Valley's Premier League side. Josh Lazinski playing with people like Carla Kuzanik, Kobe with a stack of good players like and Flapper, Brad Willoughby at Essendon. Sam with some top players at Bendigo East. Aaron Tompkins, Mark Smith, Darren Burgess, Kane Wilson at Barham, Brody Arker, Rady Arthur as well. No, he's on the no, screen. No, no, <laughs> no, he's no, in the no, comments. No, no, the um, so yeah, good show. They have... Uh, Playing with some top, top talent. And you know kids at this age, as much as they don't want to say it or don't want to show it, they're sponges. They, they pick up everything. Oh, it's two rippers from Jacob Brighton. Superb stuff from him. I know a couple of the players, like... 
uh, Jack Cassidy and Josh Lezinski are part of the Northern Flyers program as well. They meet up very regularly, almost once a week, I think. Um, good squad, about 20, 30 kids they got going, run by uh, Scott Cassidy and Wayne Mober. So that can only help as well, doing drills, being around kids their own age, learning from one another, just great stuff. And you, no doubt we'll be seeing a lot of all of these players as Kobe. What a can shot. he get both? What a he shot. gets both. Good shot. Never great time shot. Getting both. Both poles out. Thanks. Yeah, definitely one. Still for Josh to draw back the shot. Got him. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> well, I knew you'd peep up, Rado. It's too easy. Josh has just got to settle. Yeah, good stuff from him. Hold on. Such an underrated shot, that. Open head, no real clear line in, and he just draws it cold on the wide side. Great stuff from Josh. Tasha Fortune wins her um, girl singles uh, semi-final, Sammy. So we'll be seeing her on the stream after lunch. Still waiting on her opponent. I think it's 12-9 the way of Hayley Hancock over Maya Rees at the moment. Two under-13s games. I don't know who he's where on the scoreboard, but, but one is 6-4 and one is 7-9, so close games. Shot here. Kobe going again. Oh, it gets oh. the middle of a jack off. One of Sam's bowls goes in the pit with it. If you missed the front, he was a pretty right to rip the shot ball out. He's made three. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he got slightly fortunate that it went right into the middle of the jack. However, he was close. Not often as well. You see Jack stay in the ditch with big weight here at Summary. That didn't bounce out, so... Josh is going to just get to the two metre mark to get second shot here. Yeah, you look behind us, there's a tile with a perfect circular hole in it there. I reckon that was Jared Davis, day two of the venue being open. <laughs> How's Josh gone here? Needs to stop. Jacob's asking for it to settle. Can it settle? Can it use the ball in the ditch to stay up? <laughs> oh, <just laughs> drops in. Unlucky. Kobe makes a three. In the context of this game, that is huge. Yeah, big turnaround, even if Joshy holds on to that shot. Makes it. Two, five, all of a sudden the margin sneaks out to seven in these 15 end finals. I don't want to see the margin sneak in any more than it is at the moment. Missing pass with his first comes to a good spot given where play great spot on the two meter mark. Mini me, what's the time? <laughs> there it is, Lukey Nemeth from Everell Shoulders yelling out, Mini me, what's the time? To his younger brother. Here to double up as well. It's Kane's loosest end for the game so far. Yeah, 
Yeah, good again. Jax tend to favour this this side of the rink. Sticking with it again here on the forehand, trying to draw underneath the two shot bowls. Turn. It wasn't far away from getting a piece of the jack, but it, it's right away the last little bit. Jack, you played. Lady Bowl's last end. Just will be a fraction wide. Great pace for it. the same speed just a four so wide up comes back to the centre line gets to a good spot it's Jacob look at that one turn late it'll be enough to get in the count they hold three Kobe's going to have to come up with something good here to give that number they picked up last end straight back. Still room for him to draw the shot on either hand here. See which way he plays it, Jack. It's been favouring this ditch side. Kobe's played a few more on his forehand coming this direction, sticking with it. Definitely not narrow. Urging for it to run. Okay, so chance here now for Josh Lazinski to add some real pressure in at a fourth. Hope he's still with one ball to come. Half a chance here, Jim, for Team Lozinski to pick a number up straight back. They hold three. Yeah, big moment this. If uh, he can add another in here, Kobe's under a stack of pressure. Oh, Josh to absolutely nail one here if he can. It's just a big statement bowl if he can as well, I hope. Not a, bad, not a bad line. Just needs to clear Kobe's. Yeah, he's good here, I reckon. Adds another, I think. Wait for the paddler to indicate. Whether it's three or four. He has added another, that is four. So Kobe needing to find... A good bowl I don't think it forces him to change hands. He's still just beating Jacob's bowl. That's Jack High, but it might look a bit better on the mat to play it on his back end. Wants it to slow quick. down. Yeah, he's asking for it to slow down. All right, so. Zinski have just picked up the one end so far and a chance to pick up a five and get themselves right back in the game. Jacob wanting this to slow down. Uh, he's got uh, plenty of room. Yeah, good stop. Makes good no stuff. mistake. Big pick up. Great um, return of serve almost from uh, Sam, Jacob and Josh. Drop a three, but then 
pick a five up to win their second end of the game. Right back in it now, 8-6. Start from Sam. But a good reply from Kane. Gets in a decent piece of that jack. Yeah, back after a loose end. Previous, straight back on it. Some of the players who were here yesterday and again this morning as Sammy Nemeth go through, take a look at some of their good work on the screen because we've got a projected just yeah, behind us. Yeah, that was weird, a good though. one. A bit weird that, watching yourself on the big screen. I feel like an AFL football player. Can you get past again? Oh, clear row was good enough. Almost they drowned it. Jacob will take the open backhand here. Try and balance one on top of the jack if you can. And that is pretty much what he does, Sammy. Great yes. stuff from him. With the last few ends. Just real consistent, eh? Not Cassidy. to be outdone. What a shot this is. What a reply. They're going bowl for bowl here. And all playing far better bowls than I could ever play. Tell you what. Oh, do we? Has he thrown it? Oh, he's just short. Oh, absolutely now the line again. <laughs> Stiff from Jacob. I just feel that the head's still. Stood up and made things tricky for Josh, but it's fell out, so he can still probably get under there to the jack. Jack Cassidy might try and play the shot first. Get the jack down the line to Kano's. He's, he's interested. He's interested. He goes under. Yeah, he goes under. Oh, Jack Cassidy. That's exactly Two what they're after. Try and get to it first. That's <laughs> a fair set of bowls. That's a handshake from Kobe. Two crackers from him. game. This is so enjoyable. Yeah, a couple of the heads coming back in this direction. There's no nowhere, standard. nowhere else I'd rather be on a Sunday. I'm saying that after five days with both of my kids, mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the Shout out to Lenny Shore and the <laughs> Can he start dropping now? Oh, here we go, Sammy. Got here this we all go. The way. That's what a contact. shot. Gets shot for two down. Gets exceptionally stiff that that bowl came forward with it, really. Great effort from Josh. I think he almost had to play more at the end to try and get the jack out of the open. That sort of weight, that was always, the jack was always hanging around in there. They're only sort of one bowl to three. The more you get the jack right all the way through, I'll be interested to see what bowling to play. Depends what Kobe's going to play, but. I wouldn't be surprised to see Josh just try and wreck the head here. Just play a massive ball 
through. There's probably a straight line to the jack as well. Yeah, I think Copes will be happy with the angles that are there, just try and get something Depends past. On. If I'm Josh, I mean, that might slightly change what I'm doing, but I think he can just run at this. Like, his ultimate's bare jack into the pit, but if he happens to get a piece of Jack Cassidy's on the way through, he's a chance of getting both shot bowls out. If he gets his own bowl through, whether it gets Jack Cassidy's touch up over the jack for a couple down. So, I mean, it's two down anyway, so you've got to play it. He's just going to try and draw a cold, I reckon, after all of that. Why wouldn't he? He's in good touch. Jacob wants it wider than that. Yeah, his see. hand turns a lot. That's him coming in. He gets all of it. Oh. Just gets half. Yeah, good weight as well. You can tell by the way that the ball split. He was in the zone then, Josh Lezinski. Kirby can throw a little bit of salt over this if he draws a third. is good. I don't think he's quite got the trick with this one, but he was in the territory. Be a couple for him and his rink, though. Click into the second half of this match. 15 ends all up. Played eight of them. It's 10-6 to Kane Wilson, Jack Cassidy, Kobe Cromie. Played a pretty loose end coming back in this direction last time. So you jump back on it. Yeah, pretty handy. Bit of wind down there or something. The shutters are open that way and not open this way. Or are they? Overcorrecting. Kane stays on though. Just run on the ditch. Good here. Sammy can find a clear road. Stiff. Just turn it all the way past Jack High. It's not too bad. Yeah, well, far better for um, Jacob and Josh coming behind him. semi-final of course at Kasha Fortune already through this morning. Maya Rees leads at 14 shots to 11. Over Hayley Hancock and the under 13 single semi-finals. Bradley and Jack Duck are tied at seven apiece. Mate, are they only scoring once? <laughs> They've been going at it for an hour and it's seven, seven all. all. Time limit. The other one, 12. 12 shots to nine. Caught for the umpire there. I see Flint Cassidy's going to pick up the mat. Both close games. Of course, all the singles contests, 21 up. Morning, Keith. Surely, 
It's never too early for a Bintango over there, surely. Although it would be about 8am, I reckon, so it's probably not far off. So the two leads bowl still shot number one and shot number two. Trip just has to pass the front. I don't know if it's fell in or not, it's not far away. That is Flint Cassidy ahead in the other under 13 single semi, 13 shots to nine. Over Tyler Hill. Still a long way to go. it settle oh, it's just ran too far unlucky he gave it a good chance to sit the shot bowl how many uh, Jack Cassidy's had a close look no indication Bobby not giving a lot oh wait Pretty close to two. Oh, Kobe. What a shot. What a shot. Has given Josh Lazinski absolutely nothing to work with here as well. To see Josh play with much aggression in this match. I think the call is just to stick to the draw here as well and draw, draw second shot. Overcorrected here, we'll see what it is. Get a couple and have a look for the third. After dropping a five, Kane, Jack, and Kobe have picked up back to back numbers. And there you have it, three shots. Stand their lead back out to 13 6. Shorter length to what they played last time, going back in this direction. And he's starting again from Kane. He's consistently got his first one a couple foot past the jack. Looks good from Sam in reply, though. Shot from him.
Not to be outdone. Kane then goes and draws that. Again, just lacking that little bit of speed. So, after the first couple, the head favours Tam Tromey with one on and one behind. Jacob trying to turn Sam Nevis bowl up. The shot has done enough. Still a, a nice shot on here now for Jack Cassidy. He can trail the Jack. They hold four. Trying hard here, Jim. Yeah, not far away, mate. Just needs to hurry a bit to the Jack. Just start oh. bending. Connor. Changed track early, didn't he? And he was always he went off track as soon as he changed. Really, he was good until then. An effort gets another one in the area. Score next door in the other girls' semi-final. Mary's had 15-11, and holding a couple here. Haley Hancock with the last bowl. Attempt. Still will be one or two to the way of my race. Of course, the winner will play a cash of fortune in the final later on this afternoon. It's Kobe Cromie still with a chance to trail the jack here just on the wide side. Now they've got plenty pass. In fact, <laughs> almost through the shot. Close. It's turned a mile late with perfect speed. Uh, Clive on the uh, one of the. Have you already done it? Oh, mate, I'm five minutes behind her. This is what happens when you do two things at once, son. <laughs> Sky's now 17 11 the way I'm Harry's. Picked up two last end. Zinski, as much as he'd love to have a second shot. Can't give Kobe Cromie a chance to trail the jack for a six, and he's got to a pretty good spot there. chance so Josh with the opportunity to add a second here so Cassidy has snuck out to a 16-9 lead in semi-final of the under 13 singles and uh, they're pace. not exactly flying through yet, are they still? They need a pace, and I reckon it was a one the way of Bailey Bradley on the last end. Joshua Lazinski, has he got the speed to add a second shot? It's the hurry. It's the hurry. Just a single. track. Oh, they needed that. Keeps them in touch as we enter the final five ends. Yeah, open triples final.
Yeah, six to diff, mate. Got a bit of work to do, but not insurmountable. It is doable. Josh just pulling him in for a bit of a chat. Probably working out what length to play, I reckon. I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind seeing a big change up from him here, whether that's Matt back, Jack up, or the other way around. Probably that way I prefer, because I feel like we've been playing relatively deep jacks. Just a notable difference with the Matt in a completely different position. Oh, look at this. I call him, you're oh. playing, boys. Come on. <laughs> Sam's going to put that Matt right at the back, and Josh is standing right up on the line. Master tactician over here. He might have overcooked that jack roll, though. A good oh, it is different, so we'll see what happens. Change. Just try and throw the lines out of Kane and Jack. Try something different. Yeah, handy start from Sam. Good pace. Kane wasting about 0.01 of a second before he delivered that bowl after it stopped. Handy from him as well. Just about an identical opening bowl. And he's put it on a high line, yeah. Sammy Nemeth. Much better here. Great stuff. Great correction. Kept the weight. Fixed his line up. It's probably about four or five inches beyond that jack now. Turned a mile. Falls oh, in, it's the it. shot. That was close anyway. Just mentioned he favours Jack Cassidy as drawing the last the last ball being the shot. Still play confident here. Tony's own down helps. Not sure he's got the pace this time around. Alright, so Josh may find himself one down but has a nice shot on to sit the bowl. Move the jack to the right of screen. He holds three or four shots. He never looks high enough. Doesn't turn that in. Probably turns it far enough for third shot.
Uh, Combs with it. A bit of a straightener off the front pole. It's making it any easier for Josh to get to the jack. Still just going to sit the pole for a couple. Definitely not in his way with the way this hand is playing. Super wide. Like it, so. Yeah, still not wide enough. Jack calls Kobe down for a little bit of a chat. Yeah, I think originally Kobe favoured them for one, but it's got to be close. few angles here on the forehand through Jack Cassidy's front bowl. Can he get it through the shot bowl? Turn it a couple rolls for two. Plays enough speed to turn it right through the shot bowl and run on. Could make three. He can turn either of his front, front bowls, really. Half a chance here. Just needs to turn a little bit. Oh, finds a way oh, through, moves to Jack. Yeah, he's got a and piece there's, of a, the, there's a couple of touches. Jack. <laughs> he's made one out of it. He's made one. Smiles all around from the boys. What a result there for Kobe. Wilson with his opening bowl, just giving them something just in behind. Starting off very well. 14 shots to seven the lead. Just four ends to play. Sammy. And the opener from Sammy. Team Lazinski's only won three ends in the match, Jim, but they've picked up a five halfway through. That's keeping them in this game. heads that give Josh a chance to make another number like that. Draws a touch up. Still. Chance for Jack to make a couple. Jack's brother, Flynn, currently playing in the semi final of the under 13 singles, has snuck out to a 19 9 lead. Just cooking a bit here, I reckon. No, maybe not. Great shot. Great shot. Yeah, 
Jack had every chance to arrive at that head. Has missed out. Now a chance for Jacob to add a third. Is this the opening they need to get themselves back in the game? Needs to run this one out. Yeah, just pulling up. Shot from Kobe, probably turns it back to one down. Reduce the count back to one there. Look for us for the second shot. Still could be a couple. Based off his reaction. Still, Kobe going to back himself to draw the shot on his back end here. He's going to hit under Josh's last bowl. He's overplayed it. It was probably searching to get the jack all the way through. Josh has got to go back on the here and draw the shot. Jack I wait will be enough. Possibly holding a couple. Yeah, in a third. over. It is El kick out one. I reckon Jack Cassidy favoured it was two down but we'll make Jacob get down the measure for it. It is a couple. It's a couple they desperately needed. Yeah, three to go here and uh, five behind so you figure they need to win all three. Or score big on two. If I was guessing. Flint Cassidy is through to the under 13 singles final. That'll be played later on this morning. Awesome stuff from the little man. The other final is an absolute tussle. 10-8. They've been playing for an hour and 23 minutes. Mayorees leads 18-12 against Hayley Hancock in the girls semi-final. And holding a pretty good one at the moment. Half a chance to make a three on this end. Keep an eye on that.
fair correction from Sam. Tom's down this short length of the jack up as you to throw the line out. That's what you suggested might happen, Jim. Neither quite able to nail it. There's room. <laughs> Too much room for Jacob Brighton. Draws a good shot. for two there. Mm. Interesting. Yes. There he is, back of the screen. Flynn Cassidy, younger brother of Jack, who's on the mat. One half of the under-13s, the inaugural under-13s singles final. Jack Cassidy, can he grab the Jack here, Sabe? Yes, he can. That is a heartbreaker. Big Tom shot, gets it all the way through for a couple. Down a bit, Josh Lezinski inside is good. Oh, if his own falls back, it's a certainty it's close anyway. Yeah, he's safe, fat rather than fine. Um, great effort from Josh, though. Every ball's going to count now. Five behind, three to go. this to hurry Cove. See why it's given up already. Right, Josh is gonna need to find the shot here. Somehow make two. I don't know how he does that. Sits his own down and comes in as well. Tough shot. Just score multiples at some point. He's grimacing early, Sam, which is never a good sign, but it looks on good path to me. Just a touch quick. Yeah, gave it a good chance. Great effort from Josh. Better from Kobe. Drags the jack. Stays with it for one, I reckon. Just the one. But ones are enough for him and his crew. Two ends left to go. They now lead by six. So if they win this end, your ball's in your bag. Pause for Hayley Hancock next door. I think she was game down, or close to game down. Let's find a way of... Yeah, peels the ball out for one. Mm -hmm. Stays in touch, 19-13. Be 
big start required from Kane here. They just got to win this end and they can win the title. That's exactly what he's done. Just as big a start required from Sam. I reckon that's where he's bowled to about the last four ends with his opening bowl coming in this direction. He's just thrown the jack a little longer. Great start. Now it's turning for Sam. Yeah, good reply from him. Pure silk delivery, any cane. Yeah, good call from Josh. Changing Sam's hand. More options on that backhand. And the ball, pick the jack up. I think he's got the trip here, Sam. Cassidy. Yeah, yeah, hard. Good area. Jacob too correct on his speed here. Draw the shot. Just overplayed it a fraction. Right next door. Haley's possibly holding three. Both players still have one bowl to come. Again, maybe Kobe drawing the shot. Don't start this again, Luke. 15 ends. There was a mistake in the conditions of play last year. Oh. I'll put 18 ends for all triples games, and uh, yeah, the kids let me know about it for block the entire week. <laughs> we had to play 18 because that was in the COP. <laughs> it's definitely 15 now. Josh, close. She needs the right side of this bowl to get it all the way through. Yeah, good, good shot from Josh. Yeah, the running joke last, it was literally every single game they played in any format. How many ends? 15 or 18? Singles didn't matter, they just kept. <laughs> they got stuck into me. I wonder if Coves will go quicker this and try and get the bowl out clean or get the jack out of bounds. They got a few, a good few this on. Literally on top of the respot. Yeah, Might be afraid to use the weight. There he goes. There you go. Bowl or Jack here. It's all good for them. Ah, just high. needs to turn a little. A bit high. Well, rips their back ones out. Wow. And probably makes it two. Gives Josh a chance for three and bring them right back into the game. I'll say it quietly because he's walking past us now. He 
has to add the third. Has to. Chasing four versus chasing three. If he gets this on the last end. For the fourth here is Jacob. Well, this could get very interesting all of a sudden if it is four. I mean, three is interesting enough, but we'll put the very in front of it if it's four. No, just a three. So the lead cut in half going into the final end. A three for Josh, Jacob, and Sam. Takes us to an extra end. A four for them wins the game for them. Any other score hands the title to Kane, Jack and Kobe. What a perfect way to kick off finals day at this under 18 state champs for us. And nail bites up on the 15th and last end. They're going to have a chat with their coach, Mark Bullows. What length do we play, coach? Well, they've tried the short ends coming in this direction a few times. It hasn't worked yet. <laughs> Try something completely different again. that in my life. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Clive. Been a fantastic game, this. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, after a week with my missus and kids, there's nowhere else I'd rather be than right now. Here, watching this. As well, so Sam will get another opportunity of drawing an absolute bomb here. He's pointed it pretty well, all on his speed now. Just a bit quick again. Can he grab a piece though? No. So we're still going in one of the girls' single semi finals. Yeah, I'm May pretty sure May is definitely holding game. Though. We're not still going. They're shaking, shaking hands. hands. Yeah. <laughs> Mayo was holding two. She wins 21 16 over Hayley Hancock. That looks to have been a real good tussle good between game, the two. Both good players, yep. Back for a cracking final later on this afternoon. It'll be Mayo Rees versus Akasha Fortune, and we'll be the live stream game after lunch. We've got the mixed pairs final coming up after this, and then we'll finish it all off with a boys' singles final, of which we have the semi finals after lunch as well. Am I right? Semi finals. No, next. Already down to the final of the boys' singles. All no, right, there you go. I know nothing. Kobe Chromie taking on Jacob. All right, the final. The better of the brothers, yeah. And Bailey, Hopefully, Josh is still listening. <laughs> Bailey Bradley has gone on a bit of a roll in the other semi final in the under 13s. 
Here's Jack Duck, 19 shots to eight. Just not happening for Josh, Jacob and Sam on this end thus far. Just can't quite find the shot. Jacob probably has there. Possibly. Well, door slightly open then. Very slightly, there's a thin slither of light coming through. Josh can draw two. It is. Well, Jacob's last bowl's... Not shot. Not shot. I was going to say it was. <laughs> there you go. Well, Joshy, forehand trail the jack. Mm -hmm. Just over, just on the draw. Yeah. Touches bonus. And then does the same with his second, and could be in for an extra end, but has a fair bit of work to do for Josh here, but he's been playing well enough that... He's going to go at least close. He's going to give himself a pretty good chance, you reckon? Yeah, he's got to make sure that he finishes in the spot. He can still trail it too if he misses here with his first. Correct. He's got to play phenomenal weight twice. I want to see him out on a wider line. He was under with his first couple. He's more than enough. Direction. Just a bit quick, though, Sammy. Unless he can grab that jack. Well, it's well, in the, the zone. That's the spot he had to finish to. Yeah, it's in the zone. Still there for him. Yes, Barb, last end. Well, unless Josh does move that. Jack with his last bolt to make three. And we'll tie. Kobe can be the party pooper here, though. He needs to f either finish on top of the Jack or split them two bowls up just behind. Yeah, I think I'd, you'd like to see him get in behind. He still hasn't completely covered the danger off though. Well, it's a, it's a good shot. They were holding anyway, so what it does probably do is stop Josh going in the shot bowl if he was going to. Same bowl here, same speed. Here we go then. Doesn't even have to be a bowl narrow up. This or nothing. What a correction needed. Again, can he drop down to this jack? Just going to hang around. He played good weight for it as well, Josh Ozinski. But that'll be a couple to Kobe Chromie and his crew. And our 2024 under 18s Open Triples winners will be Kane Wilson, Jack Cassidy, and Kobe Chromie. What a final. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back pretty soon, within half an hour, I reckon for the mixed pairs final between Bailey Randall, Chloe Sugar. Up next, taking on Nick Rowley and Addie Ryan. Should be a cracker. Join us then. <laughs>